Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. So, who have I not played recently? You know, I actually keep track of this somewhat. So the last, last couple rounds have been, uh, you know, I haven't done an NG run. I've done a couple of NG runs, but I haven't done many of them. So let's go Magma Core. It wants me to go Demolitionist Engineer. That's terrifying. Screw it. What's the worst that could happen, right? It's Hazard 5. That I'll be fine, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to be getting the four fire weapons. I feel like that's going to be a really easy one with a digger, probably. Okay, let's just grab the Morkite while we're here. I'm going to try and go, even though I'm going to take some damage here, I'm going to try and go straight through this center, grab as much gold as I can. I don't know how tough these suckers are, but I want as much time as possible uh, to mine safely through. Let's just go for the damage. I'm sure we're going to need just as much oomph as we can possibly muster. I always forget that the, uh, the drone actually does help me fight. It's very much not part of my mental calculus when it comes to playing this. Uh, let's see, reload speed? Sure. Yeah, part of my fear is I'm not sure how tanky these suckers are. And there's a very real possibility that, like... I'm not going to be able to kill many of them. At all quickly. We'll have to loop back. Okay, and we need more kite. Somewhat easy enough to find. I mean, we're already almost done, which is huge. There we go. Open ourselves an escape route. Scoot through. See, I've got some gold. And we can go back if I want to in a hot second. Beans. Not the gold that comes with this. I want that shard refractor, but I shouldn't. So explosive neurotoxin grenade? Sure. And we see some more kite. I just have to get to it. Hope that doesn't count. Perfect. Snag it. Uh, let's see. Nitro for crit, we're going to need the damage. Much as I want that health. Okay, scoot through. No, let's, let's actually do this. I'm not sure about all this red sugar. Or not red sugar, um the armor we're getting. Armor feels very, uh, foolish to me. Okay. Snag this. Ideally, don't take too much damage. Any if possible. Uh, let's see. Keep going reload speed. I want this, uh... I want this grenade launcher to be... topped off. I do want that pickup radius, though. Okay, crit damage, crit damage. Because we scale off of our nitro counts. Now, I think yes. Worked out. Didn't exactly, it wasn't perfect, but I did get them to go straight through. The resources I was kind of mining for. Big fear here at the moment is just, I don't do a whole lot of damage and they do a whole lot of damage. It does help when they explode like that though.
Okay. I've already found... No, there's probably at least a smidge of nitro that I haven't found yet. That's... That's genuinely bad for me. Okay. Do I want to go for the ac impact axes? No, I think I'm going to go for the high explosive grenade. Okay, explosion size, yeah. I want the rest of that nitra, but I don't think I'm getting it here. Okay, we're actually chewing through this, this horde pretty well. And that might have been the boss right there. That pickup radius? Yeah, that was the boss. You know, all things considered, I'll take it. Ow. That's a good pickup radius. The armor has been helping a lot. Yeah, whatever I missed is fine. I don't see much nitro, but I'm sure I missed at least like one or two veins. We got all of the gold though, which is sometimes good for me. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Really don't want to re-roll. And that's just explosive damage. I'll have to pay attention to see if there's an explosive range. I think we'll grab that and not roll down anymore. Who knows, I could have actually just denied myself... <clears throat> I could have just denied myself, like, a, a big ol' upgrade by not rolling down, but... I'm just... I don't want to say beyond caring, but it's kind of one of those where it's like, I can't, I can't second guess every single one of these decisions or I'm never going to make any. I'm just only going to roll down and only pick the best upgrades and that's always going to feel bad. Probably. Maybe. Okay, I'm just going to sequester myself in the middle of this spot, grab the last of the gold, and extricate. I guess I might as well grab the red sugar while I'm here. I'm injured enough that it makes sense to do so. I just have to make sure I don't get clobbered too much trying to get through here. Ow. It's fine. Stay away from that. Pet. At least I've got a lot of residual oomph to kind of blast through these groups. Yeah, some big, uh, oop. some big mining speed upgrades would go a long way here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them, but I'd like them. Okay, swarms incoming. We don't have our supply drop yet. I'll just scoot through here. They can't catch me if I'm Taking the back route. Ow. Deserve that a bit. There's a bunch of blue caps on the opposite side here. Ow. The worst spots. Hey, even though I have all of that extra... All of that extra armor right from the get-go, these suckers still hit me for 20. I guess you really have to commit to armor long-term. Would have liked to grab the rest of that, but it's too late. Bulu cap, bulu cap, bulu cap. All right. Reload on this one. Uh, mm, yeah. I think we're going to need it. I wonder if the loot bugs count as environment for the sake of explosives. Probably not. It would delight me to no end if that's the case. This sucks. This right here is really bad for me. Okay, do we get the incendiary grenade? It is explosive, sure. Does mean we're going for a bit of an explosive build, and I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to survive. Having that 
drop. Okay. Wait. What? There's two of them? That's illegal. I didn't know there could be two of them. Okay, go for a bit of mining speed. Back off for a hot second. All right, we've got our opening. Okay, look at all that experience that I might not be able to pick up here. All right, let that go. I'm gonna just take this moment. This is gonna take a little while anyway to clobber through. There being two of these suckers is terrifying. I didn't know they came in two packs. Okay. Bunch of loot bugs. I guess we might as well have the supply drop drop on one of them. If we can do so. Oh, we didn't get all the gold here. Okay, I think I should go for the mining speed. The move speed's gonna be helpful, possibly better than the mining speed since I've got the grenade. Hmm. Ow. Yeah, this is the problem. XHP. Oh. Now nah, I gotta go for the explosive damage and the luck. I might just instantly die here. Oh. Okay, we're spending some of this gold on health. Okay. That was one hell of a round. We're 32, which is actually a really good spot to be in. Sort of throwable damage ain't terrible. Uh, let's see. Screw it. Let's just go with those. It's not a roll down, it's a buyout. Leaves me in a somewhat okay position. Yeah, I might actually want to try and work on these high explosive grenades. See if I can get them to be bigger and boomier. Because we're going to have some issues with terrain just due to the sheer amount of enemies coming after me. And so if I can potentially get these to do like really good damage for me, uh, even to the environment, that might actually be uh, extremely helpful. Maybe. It could also be kind of wasteful. Oh, good. It's only a pocket blooms. So that gives me some leeway here. I was hoping with that luck upgrade, we wouldn't have to see too many common upgrades, but we've, we've been seeing them. Uh, well, this is stinky. You try and find a safe path, you think you see one, and then it's... It's a phantasm. It literally doesn't exist. <sighs> yeah, the problem is losing that much HP here right now is uh, not great for me. I think we needed to get... Uh, we spread out too many of our upgrades is, I think, the big issue. I think we needed our... our um, well, honestly, I'd actually say I think we didn't need all that armor in the beginning. I th think we needed damage. Like, we got two very good purple upgrades 
for arguably one of the worst stats in the game at this point. Like, the damage scaling in by Hazard 5 is just so brutal. That hit me. Uh, it's my fault. Uh, the damage scaling is so rough that, like, after a certain point, you just have to not get hit. And there's no way around that. Okay. Get my hit points back. I'll stag this. Unfortunately, going out of my way for red sugar this early is a little bit of a waste, but whatever. Set the ground on fire. I'm still not entirely sure if the fire grenades are that good. Like, my one one fear with the demolitionist is mostly just, I think it might be better if I wait. Okay, we want to land this right about there. Eh, not quite. Go for the Vita Minor Pills. Ow. I'm going to go for damage. The reload speed on it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I figured this way I'd have to spend less money on health. Probably going to be helpful. Uh, let's see. Reload speed for all weapons. Do we go for the fire grenade? Do we go for the reload speed? No, let's get the fire grenade up. I'm still thinking it might be a good idea to just go, like, all in on the boomstick and not think too hard about anything else. We've done that the last couple of runs where we had, like, one absolute winner of a gun. And everything else was just kind of convenient, but not overwhelmingly useful. Okay. Got that. Can I get that? No. So that is explosive radius. So there is a, a stat that scales that. Oh, well, that's a good sign. No, let's go for the three weaker versions, because we can we can scale damage fairly easily. Oh, it explodes once and then it splits more? Oh, that's even better than I possibly could have asked for. Okay, so we've already got the Apocalypse Blooms. So I don't need to worry too much about finding more of those. Main fear at this point is mostly just to do with damage scaling. The fact that that doesn't kill the loot bugs is still kind of weird for me. Okay, cannot sustain that. I will die if I try. Okay, just let him continue to chase me. There's something. Unfortunately, being level 11 here is a little rough. Because I need more damage. At least my, my grenade launcher, my boomstick, is ready and raring to blast. All explosive damage. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking focusing on one gun here might be the might be the play. Cause yeah, if I can insta give most of the little guys with just big old explosions. Hmm. I'm gonna be able to goose chase these guys that effectively, am I? 
They're just gonna corner me. Well. I'll see what I can do. I wanna loop back up to the top if I can. Okay. Yeah, it hurt more than I was willing to sacrifice. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna go for that move speed. Let's see. weapons. Now this is a bad place to be. Fire grenade. No. I don't think we want the fire grenade to be a main line here. Almost dead. Give me a bit more pickup radius. A little bit more reload speed. Okay, I've killed one of the two of them. Uh, let's see, smart rifle, no, neurotoxin grenade. Hurts a bit, but we're fine. Just do damage and reload speed. The terrain, it's okay. Okay, and then I got a boogie. I'll take it. Extra explosion that does kinetic damage is almost tempting. Yeah, let's actually do that. Got it. I would have liked to get the rest of this, but... Am I level 29 leaving the first zone? What the hell? <laughs> um... Huh. That's a thing. Alright, let's re-roll. We can do better than that. I did want that pickup radius, but whatever. Okay, so the kinetic grenade, we might actually be able to get up. It's kind of a weird day. And we definitely want to increase explosion radius. We, we want to be able to hit everything. Okay, blue, blue caps. I don't hate Bulu Caps, they're just so much more of a hassle than Apaka Blooms. Having to get twice as many uh, really does matter. Though they do tend to be a little bit more clustered, I'll give them that. Freaking loot bugs are tanky little suckers. Okay, set that off. We have nice surprises. Okay, and yeah, that extra mining speed is going to go fairly far. I don't think it's going to make, like, it's it's not going to be end-all, be-all here. Okay, and if you're wondering why I'm not picking these up, it's because I maxed my meta progression. It helps, but they take a while to mine through. And so... I usually would rather uh, go for the gold and go for the nitra than for the um, the meta progression. Now this is a spicy pickle. Yeah, I don't like it when I get surrounded like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Okay, supply beacons all the way up there. 
At least we have pretty good group clearing potential, so like... I can kind of make this work. But man, there's so many enemies. And one of the big issues that I'm running into with especially builds like this, I cannot see where my enemies are through all those explosions. And so, uh, there's a very real possibility I'll, I'll have, like, nuked something, and it's still alive. And I have no way of figuring that out. Okay. I want that luck, but... Okay. So we got two bad nicks coming in. I'm gonna very quickly grab that. This was a mistake. Got a supply drop up here. I'm probably oh good. I can just have it drop immediately. My ideal would have it to kill would be to have it kill one of the two bosses. It didn't. Uh, let's see, do we want to increase healing and leveling up? No, let's go for the Nitra. This is why I want all that extra movement speed. Ow. And the other immediate problem is... I gained 29 levels on the, the last region. I've gained three so far on this one. Um, most of that just boils down to the fact that a lot of my kills are being done outside of my pickup radius. And there's only so much I can do about that. That was a lot of greed for one loot bug, but can you blame me? Probably. Okay, crit damage. I don't even know where we're at crit-wise. 17%, so yeah, going for the crit, crit damage is not really promulent. But we'll get there. Okay, which am I working on? The fire grenades, I suppose. Nope. I'm bold, but I'm not that bold. It's going to be one of those that's, I think, a little rough. Just too many enemies coming at me all at once. Swinging for just a little bit too much damage. I think part of it is I also need to hang out near the bosses more. But I kind of have been. Honestly, the frost grenades. Oh, the bosses are getting faster. I haven't been down here before. Yeah, because they're getting faster, I can't even mine to safety that effectively because they absolutely will uh, just catch up to me. But, 
Okay, should an additional time in the opposite direction? Ow. Worth it, but ow. I don't think the explosive build is ready for this. Maybe if I had, like, the cold grenade or something? I don't know. Okay, so that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Yeah, do I want to just keep going engineer? Because that's, that's the main question. Like, which classes have I been underrepresenting? Which, well, the other one is the gunner is the only one that hasn't gotten its alt class yet. Do we want to just do Gunner Hazard 4? With the Bulldog Revolver again? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get him up to 17. I think Hazard 5, I'm, I'm not going to want to spend all of my time on. I want to give myself some possibility for a fun run so I'm not just struggling. Big crit damage buff. Kind of worthless unless I actually get some crit damage, but hey, who knows? Still feel like loot bugs should give experience too. Just so there's more of a reason to actually go out of your way for them. I don't like any of these. I guess I'll go for the experience gain. If I've got to waste a level, I might as well get get something slightly out of it. I know I'm a juggernaut, so I, I don't need to fear damage this much, but even then. I am trying to avoid taking too much here. Okay, go for the fire rate. And this is a this is a gun that I could actually go for some um some fire rate and reload speed on. It's not like the other pistols where you really just have no reason to do so. Okay. That said, because we are a juggernaut, I can afford to take some hits from these guys. Bloodstorm minigun? Sure. I think I still prefer the, uh... The thunder gun, and that's probably going to be what I go go for this run. Let's see reload speed, sure. Yeah, I might as well get this gun up to the point where it at least does. Uh, it's got at least an overclock or two. Come on, you lads, help me mine. Thank you. Okay, experience when taking damage? Sure. Get some of that. How are we doing on Bulu Caps? Oh, we're good. If I can just get these two. All of these are great. I'm going to go for the luck, though. The ideal is always to never have any common upgrades. Because I don't want to say common upgrades are, like, strictly horrendous. But... Boy, if you can get to the point where you're only scaling, like, bl blues, even... As unlikely as that is, if you can get to that point, you are uh, very much in the money. Okay, so we're... How are we doing this? Don't be there when that goes off. I was hoping to take the other ones. Alright, I think we've stripped, the, stripped this entire level as bare as we can get it. Gonna farm some experience off of that. 
All right, let's make some friends. Whoops. Okay, fire rate. Go for the piercing shots. Yeah, so piercing, uh, piercing isn't like a 100% thing. People are pointing out that different guns have different piercing values. So giving the thunder, uh, thunderstorm cannon or whatever it's called, more piercing actually is really good for it. Might actually be true of the sniper rifle too. I'll have to mess around with it. Thunderhead, there we go. I knew it had thunder in the name, I just couldn't remember the rest. My only beef with the Thunderhead auto cannon mostly boils down to the fact that uh No, you're not it. Uh let's see, fire rate or damage damage. My only beef with it is that uh it fires in one direction and that can be kinda messy. Do I want to go? No. I want to go for the Thunderhead, but the game has decided that no. It's Bulldog Revolver Day. I don't hate the bull Bulldog Revolver. It's just, um... It lacks a certain level of impact that I'm aiming for. Let's just get that reload speed. We want it to be firing very quickly and reasonably often, if possible. And I don't think I'm gonna use the lead storm too much. Ow. I said that hurt, but my character is tanking pretty dang well. Reload of heavy weapons. Now, Bulldog Revolver. We'll get what I'm looking for at some point. Oh. I can stand on the fire. I'll get the burst fire gun. I still think four weapon slots is actually overkill in this. That it doesn't doesn't actually make the game better. Uh, let's see. That's a big one. Just barely can get both. Okay. That was probably one of the best roll downs I've done. At some point, I'll have to go for, like, a heavy weapon build and make that work, where it's, I'm only rolling heavies. I'll have to see if that's in the cards for the, whatever the demolitionist, or whatever the, the final track is for this dude. The fact that the loot, loot bug just tanks that is baffling. Okay. Let's just snag both Bulu caps. Knocks back enemies. Yeah. The doubling armor while it's reloading is kind of nice, but it's not. I'd actively have to, like, wreck its utility as a weapon to make that work, which would be interesting. But I think also just a bad idea. All right, let's just zip. Grab the rest of these. I was going to bring this up earlier, but I think Deep Rock Galactic Survivor is actually getting to the point where it's ruining other bullet heavens for me. I've played one or two of them, and I'm just kind of like, oh, this is fun. And then I immediately load this game up instead, and I'm like, yeah, this feels better to me. It's the digging. It's 100% the digging. And, like, I like the overclock system. I still feel like it could be more interesting. Uh, 
like have even more exciting perks and abilities but they changed the game just enough that I'm like yeah I want to get that that uh, LMG with plasma someday and really build around that because that feels like it has so much potential I think that's it is just that it feels like I can pursue a build in this game and a lot of bullet heavens lack that Okay, so this is a bit messy. Take some damage for it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Grab the last of these two. So I don't have to think about it again. I guess I might as well snag some red sugar as I go through. Because, yeah, I get small amounts of experience for standing on fire. Not much, though. We're not strong enough to the point where... I really have to worry about just insta-gibbing the boss. Yet. Walk through this mess. Grab the rest of the Nitra, get some crit chance. Yeah, boss is still pretty hale and hearty. Probably just going to ignore most of this. Let's go get the um, supply drop open. Hopefully it doesn't require too much digging, but I'm in a good... No, that's a lot of digging. That's a lot of digging. What? Drunk jerk aimed it here. It was probably me. Oop. There it goes. Okay. Go for that. The right gun. Damage and reload. Or even more piercing. More fire rate. Okay. Get that magnet so we don't have to worry about it. Fine, I'll upgrade it. I swear I'm just going to be packing just paint jobs and paint jobs on my Thunderhead more than anything else. Ow. Okay, I don't like this. I'm going to have to take a lot of damage just getting through that. That's fine. That actually wasn't too bad. And my regen is top. Okay. Ton of max HP. This is, um... These are some choices. I got 59. I can get exactly one of these. I guess I might as well go for the 20% kinetic. Because that helps everything. Hey, 420 HP. That's, that's a good number. Nice and tanky. I still wonder if they, they're ever going to change how healing works on the higher levels. I think it's got to. It feels like the regen. Well, I don't know. What's my regen? Does it say life regen? 17. Nope. I was really hoping it would be based on percentage. The more HP you have, the better that regen is. Twelve percent crit chance. All right. This run has just decided to do a thing. I'm gonna have that get all of those, but whatever. I like it when the explodey boys. Take out everything. Both the plants and the, uh... uh... Let's see. Both the plants and these dudes. Hello. Please open a, a pathway for me. So I may safely scoot. I think I got the Apocalypse. Yep. 
Something got me. I don't think it was any of the big ones, though. And my damage right now is feeling good enough that... I'm kind of in a comfortable position. Let's set that off. Let's go south. Might as well grab the red sugar as I go by. Hmm. I wonder if I should actually adopt more of a zigzag pattern across these maps. Originally, I was going around the outside because that's kind of what people had suggested, but I'm starting to wonder if it actually would have been better. Fire rate of all projectile weapons? Yeah. Uh, mm, this would kill me, but it would be so funny. Whee! Welcome to hell, suckers. Slowest dwarf you ever did see, but gosh, you are not surviving the process of meeting me. We desperately are going to need some movement speed, though otherwise this is going to become progressively worse over time. Okay, is that, that's the Thunderhead. Some reload speed might not be a bad idea either. Just getting a lot of really good universal upgrades. I'm having trouble saying no to. I can't avoid those. Oh, you know what the big, big issue is? I don't have any knockback. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest. Now let's see if I can actually get to the escape pod. I think I will. I want this, but I need this. I should stop for nothing. Like, there's a very real possibility I might not make it. Did not get as much gold on this round as I was hoping I would. Also, this is this is actually looking kind of... Nope, never mind. It's not looking dire. I'll just hang out here for a bit. One of my weapons does like 3,000 damage. Okay. What are we doing? Bit of reload speed. Yeah, pickup radius would have been nice. There we go. <sighs> Taunting me. Fire rate and reload speed, damage and reload speed. Funny. I'm just going to pick that up so I can move. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and keep his stock in Nitro, but it's not going to be a uh, super high priority. The damage is nice, but I I would like to be able to move. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to pick up resources here. And then obviously, who knows what's going to happen when we encounter the final level. Am I going to be able to escape that lad? Or is he going to just uh, Goomba stomp me? Like I deserve. Okay. Fire rate. Reload speed. I don't really care to use the lead storm that much, but I know with all the perks that we've picked up, it's going to be good. What's my move speed right now? 8%. So yeah, this is gonna get this is gonna get dire. I have not invested much into movement speed prior to this, and it's only going to get worse for me. Okay. On the plus side, I do enough damage that I can actually cut through an entire crowd. Maybe not these guys. They strike me as the variety that I'm going to have some trouble with. Maybe. Okay, even more luck. I'm going to want speed.
And yeah, I might as well just flee through this stone. Because we don't really have much of a reason to do so or not to do so. Hopefully we get a magnet, though. One of my guns is hitting for thousands. I think it might be the Thunderhead. Okay, and that's the... That's the supply drop there, so I should head for that. Uh, let's see. Just ignore it for a hot second. I raid on these, sure. I probably should have actually gone for the overall kinetic damage. Cripes. I was really hoping to get the Nitra crit upgrade. Oh, that's the boss there, ain't it? I don't know if there's much I can do about that, unfortunately. I think we are just going to beast this sucker. I mean, maybe I can just get genuinely far enough away? Maybe. Yeah, the problem is it's gonna get close to me and die. I'll live with what I've got. I mean, we did come out of this with a fair bit of resources, just not all of the resources. I don't think there's much more I can get, so yeah, we're just going to park our slow butt right here. Where are we at? Minus 15%. That's not that bad, actually. I'm going to stare this guy down. And now he's going to leave. That's good enough. Okay, final level. I'm pretty slow. I want that, but I should not. Last one. There it is. Greatly increases fire rate at the cost of accuracy. You know what? I think that's about as perfect as I could ask for on the Thunderhead. Why are you just... Oh, did the egg must have landed on him. Anyway, so the uh, the Thunderhead autocannon is now a... It's a minigun. It fires very quickly. And because the accuracy degradation, its whole, like, fires in one direction thing isn't as dire as... It sometimes is. Right. I don't need to do that. I'm actually pretty close to full health. Never mind. Squandered that immediately. I wasn't sure if I had triggered it yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we want to just keep going for it? Actually, let's just do fire rate across the board. I don't need any more specialized upgrades at the moment. Good morning, beastie. Now die. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that much knockback before. Okay, so let's just carve a nice comfortable path through here. I'll make some holes and some more elites. I was trying to escape, but it could not. I was too mighty for it. And then I guess I might as well just ignore this sucker, maybe. And no. Ignoring things is rude. And my big fear is that I'm I'm going to get uh, stomped by the boss. But maybe I won't. Oh, let's 
well, let's cross our buns that we get um that we get the crit nitro perk. That on this run would stomp because our crit chance right now is thirty five percent. Uh, the crit nitro would get us. It wouldn't quite be a hundred percent crit, would it? No. But it would be up there enough that we wouldn't have to worry about it. I guess the crit goggles would actually be maybe better, given the situation. Give me crit. <laughs> but what if I hate myself? <laughs> oh, what is my fire rate at? Only 50%. I have no idea what it's at on a per gun basis, but it's silly. Where's my movement speed at? Eh, only negative 15%. That's actually not terrible. For now. We still have an egg left that I should probably go find. But first, I think I need to throw this run as... Oh, no, there's the boss. Okay. So the added benefit here is... I might be able to very slowly waltz around him. Go for some max HP, <laughs> just in case. You never know, it might come in handy. He was very much within hugging range. I put every point into fire rates and <laughs> everything melted. Who needs fire when you have infinite bullets? I don't really need those, do I? Well, <laughs> I think that might be my first pickled nitro win. No, I swear I've gotten it before. I don't know. One way or another, I was comically slow, but I did so much damage. Let's see what the heavy gunner does. But first, yeah, the Thunderhead auto can was pretty good. That bulldog actually did a lot. I think it's just that it hit max level sooner. Where was I doing fire damage? Oh, maybe the Thunderheads, like, explosion does fire damage. The only way I can think of it. Okay, right, so what does Heavy Gunner do? Heavy weapons, slower move speed. Oh, boy. So, yeah, this isn't an explosive build. It is Heavy Weapons Guy. I'll have to unlock a couple more Heavy Weapons, I think, to really make this one work. Uh, because... I think this might be one. The Hurricane Guided Rocket System, but we got to be 21 for that one. Oh, he's the one with the Seismic Repulsor, so clearly I should just play Gunner a bunch for a while. Yeah, we've got a Plasma Carbine, which should be exciting. The Bolt Shark. Let's see. Is it just those? No. Yeah, yeah so we've still got two to three weapons on each character. It does seem like I should go Heavy Gunner. Because if I can get the Seismic Repulsor, then we can finally do that NG, uh, pure deployable build that I've been wanting to do for a while. So we might be, we might do some Heavy Weapons Guy builds. But for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.